What's up, YouTube? Stuck on Medic Clouds here. Today we got a review, pretty interesting review. We got a review of 5150. Now I'm only bringing you two flavors today because I got the whole line. They come in a box like this. At least this is how I got it. And they come in like this. Now these are the three flavors that I'm not reviewing today. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Nuts, which is a savory hazelnut peanut butter and bourbon. And then psychosis which is an upside down tangerine cheesecake and i want to give a big shout out to midwest vape 31 for making this review possible and a big shout out to 5150 for sending it my way for the purpose of this review they have five flavors in their line they got straight jacket which is an oak barrel salted butterscotch and custard cream they claim that is their best seller we will see that in the next review they got psychosis which is the upside down tangerine cheesecake they got nuts which is a savory hazelnut peanut butter and bourbon anti-venom which is a mix of ripe mango pineapple and a touch of menthol and they got sin Sinsanity, which is a cinnamon French toast crunch cereal. So, from me reading them off to you, they sound complex, really complex, and that's good. I'm sick of the same shit. So, I was really, really hyped when I got this to see if this shit was any good. There's a look at their flavor card. I like their branding, definitely good, not appealing to children. It looks like a fucking e juice company that's doing it right. All the flavors are a mix of 70 VG and 30 PG. And they come in a zero, they come in a three, and they come in a six. I don't know about the 12. I never know about the 12. So I'm sorry. Figure that one out on your own. But yeah, I got mine in a three milligram of nicotine. And <clears throat> the first one we're going to check out is Psychosis, which is the upside down tangerine cheesecake. And the first thing I want to say, I'm not big on cheesecake uh, vapes to begin with. So I went into this one with an open mind. So bear with me. This flavor just seems so odd, but sounds like it could be really good. I smell cheesecake, and it's weird to say, but I smell tangerine. Um, like not orange, tangerine, and it smells good. It smells really uh, upfront with the cheesecake, though. One look at the bottle, quick, because some of the bottles are different. There's Psychosis. There's their label, fifty-one fifty premium vape fluid. And psychosis again and then they got a little label thing like warning thing right there that you can't see because the bottles are clear but yeah today I'm gonna be trying this on the noisy cricket version 1 with the goon 22 millimeter on top with a 0.44 bill yep she's rocking just got her all dripped up and here we go okay so um, I get a little bit of tangerine first. It's not too strong. It actually could be in there a little bit more, but it's not bad. Don't get me wrong, it's not bad. Because I think if it went overpowering, this it would fuck the whole thing up. And then I, I it follows up with a lot of cheesecake. Like, it's pretty strong when the tree, when the tree's cake. It's pretty strong when the cheesecake. Um... For me personally, this wouldn't be an all-day vape. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not going to vape it because it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's good. For a cheesecake flavor, it's actually really good because the cheesecake, while being pretty strong, is really good. It tastes like a natural cheesecake. Like, a lot of times I get a cheesecake vape and it don't taste like cheesecake. This actually does, and I think that might be why I think it's kind of strong is just because it actually tastes good. If if you guys over there at 5150 mix this shit yourself, you guys are doing a damn good job. But um, for me personally, I don't think I would buy this one for myself again, but it is good and I do enjoy it. Yeah, the vapor production is not bad either. So the next one, we got nuts. Pretty much the same bottle, but you can tell that the liquid is a little bit darker. And this one is a savory hazelnut peanut butter and bourbon. That sounds pretty damn good. When I heard that one, I was excited because that just sounds like it's up my alley. It sounds like it would be good when you're drinking. I need my mod. And it sounds complex. And I guess I'll smell it for you first. I smell a nutty peanut butter. My dogs are going off again. And a tiny bit of hazelnut and I do smell the bourbon which took me by surprise today I'm gonna be tasting nuts that sounds so fucking weird 
on the RX two thirds and the two battery uh, configuration with the Twisted Messes 24 on top. Help if it was on. Okay, just gonna I'm gonna spoil it. I fucking love this flavor. This flavor is so fucking good. This is the first one I tried when I got the package, and it is really fucking good. On the inhale, I'm getting that hazelnut first. Not too strong, though, because hazelnut can overpower, but it's not. It's good, and the hazelnut mixes with a very nutty peanut butter. Creamy at the same time, though, which I don't know how they're finding all these balances, but it's working really nice. And then followed up, I get... A little spice of bourbon and or sweetness however the fuck you want to put it it's it's good I mean it's a really strong flavor it's a really potent flavor and I, not the bourbon just the whole flavor by itself is a really potent flavor and is good because I you need to be able to taste your fucking juice I'm sick of the companies that have all these light flavors that just fucking suck this flavor just tastes really natural to me the peanut butter, like I said, is really good. The hazelnut is really good, especially how they mixed it in there. The peanut butter is just so nutty and creamy at the same time. It tastes like a real, real peanut butter. And then the bourbon kind of just adds this fucking, like, bonus. Like, oh, here you go. You get some fucking bourbon, too. And it tastes really good. Um, this is definitely a fall kind of flavor, and... I would definitely check it out. This one is definitely one that I would buy again. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got today for fifty-one fifty. Um, I will have a review later on for all three of the rest of the flavors. I just tripped over myself, but yeah, I'll have another review for the rest of the flavors and check them out. So far, I'm definitely pleased. The nuts, definitely try that one. And that's all I got. I will leave a link to their website down in the description. Go over there. Um, I forgot to mention the price. Holy shit. They are $13 for a 30 mil. That's a good fucking price, especially for this quality of juice. It's really good. So, yeah, check them out. Leave a link down below. Check me out on Instagram at Stuckomatic Clouds. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe if you'd like. And until next time, Stuckomatic out.